happening right now. There's a large truck sitting outside New Bedford Police Headquarters. Over the next few hours, the goal is to fill it with supplies to send to hurricane battered Puerto Rico. Tonight, the situation there is growing more desperate with critical supplies running out. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lashuto is live in New Bedford with more on what people are being asked to donate. Sheena. The New Bedford Police Department was ready to send items down to Texas when Hurricane Harvey hit and tonight they're ready to help out again. We have some assembly lines going on in this parking lot all to get ready to fill up a truck this time to send items down to Puerto Rico. The New Bedford Police and Fire Department, the nonprofit United New Bedford and the Bristol County Sheriff's Office spreading their generosity and for some it hits home. We have personally families in Puerto Rico that are stuck there and we're devastated by the, the hurricane. New Englanders are invited to drive through the New Bedford Police Department parking lot and drop off donations that will soon head to Puerto Rico. And we have volunteers on the ground that are organizing them on pallets so we can wrap them up and load them up on a truck. We have forklift. Specific items requested include batteries, flashlights, toiletries, and first aid kits. These are the necessities of our everyday life, um, well, especially for them now, currently with the uh, disaster that, they, that, that was just impacted out there. Um, so hopefully we can get these items to them as soon as possible because they, need, they needed those items yesterday. And things are just getting started over here. They're accepting donations right here until 9 o'clock tonight. Organizers told me that it isn't quite set in stone how they're getting these items to Puerto Rico quite yet, but they have a few things in the works. Reporting live in New Bedford, I'm Sheena Loshuto, Eyewitness News.